my juicy, tasty scriptures, a delicious tourist. Welcome to your love tarot reading. This is going to be for you and your person, boo boo, whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. Let's uh, take a look, my darling. Uh, please show me angels. What is happening for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Taurus? I just want to say I love you so much, my baby. You know I love you. But today I love you extra much. Okay. I know. I'm just having one of those like. Mm, what are those days of love? I'm just, I don't know. I'm just feeling myself. I'm feeling all of you boobies. Aww. Okay, so we've got the tower here. So, you know, look, with these universism uh, readings, we're uh, assuming some kind of a rift or separation. This is, you know, this is, <laughs> this is done. Something, this is a breakup. This is an ending that was very, very deep and painful. And your person thinks that as far as you're concerned, it's over, over, and done so. Aw, baby. Mm, Taurus. And pain, pain. There's a lot of pain here, but also still hope. So we'll see. Uh, boop, boop. Mm, if you're new to the channel, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. And if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I love Love you, I appreciate you. I see you, baby. Give me a kiss. Mm. My gorgeousness, scrumptious Taurus. Let's see what happened here in the past to make the situation so you're coming up in the tower for them, too. So it's interesting. It's almost you laid down the law. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh my gosh, these cards are just coming out. Taurus, as you know, I'm your little Scorpio mommy, okay? I'm a little Scorpio sun and rising. You're my opposite sign, but we're like two sides of the same love, love coin. I feel like we vibe, even though we're opposites. We're just, we need each, we, we need each other. Oh my God, I cannot talk today. I feel a little weird. So I'm still recovering from flu, so I apologize. I still can't talk. But uh, yeah, like we vibe, we're like night and day. So we, you know, we we make the love world go around. We're like death and life, night and day. Um, and it's scrumptious energy. Also the eclipse is coming up. So we will be meeting the Taurus and Scorpio energy is meeting through the eclipses. Um, later on this month. So you have the Ace of Pentacles, yeah, and a lot of Pentacles here actually. So Six of Pentacles and Four of Pentacles. This person that you were dealing with was making you fight for them, okay, but not in a cute way. This is someone who doled out their time and attention, someone who shortchanged you on time and attention, someone who wanted you to vie for their time and attention. Mmm, baby, someone, you know, someone who pulled back. If it was a bimbo himbo from Tinder, and he went in between, you met on a Tuesday, but Bill, this is someone who was like all for it, all fine. It was all gorgeousness, you know, new beginning, on paper, everything was perfect. And then when it came to the actual connection, this person was like, oh, now Taurus, now I'm going to ghost you. Now I'm going to leave you on red. Now I'm going to play games. Uh, they pulled back four of pentacles. Um, there's a weirdness energy here, but boo, there was like, this is a miser that you're dealing with. See, Taurus is so like scrumptious and generous, and this was an emotional miser. They didn't want to give on to you. They could have also been funny. It's kind of, I don't know why it's coming up specifically, but they could have been funny about like in the first like dating process, they could have been funny about who pays or like they expected you to, like, you know, it was just like, or they like told you to pay. I don't know. It was just like kind of weird. It's very weird. It was like... <clears throat> This person was a taker, not a giver. You thought they were a giver. It's like, you know, at first they were a giver and then they were a taker. It was like a bait and switch situation. Let's see why. I think this person has a lot of inner demons and insecurities. So, you know, whatever, if, whatever the funniness was, this is about not giving you time, not giving you the time of day, not giving you attention. Uh, at first they did and then they didn't, but it's, uh, yeah, it's out of insecurity. It's the totality of their experiences in life, Taurus. You also could be dealing with another fixed sign. So maybe a Scorpio, maybe um, maybe an Aquarius, maybe a lion, but it, this it's the total, it's who they are. It's the, the totality of their experiences in life, their previous experiences, um, their relationships, you know, situationships, they were just projecting onto you what they learned and through the course of their life. Uh, this person has deep regrets about what happened though, Taurus, okay? So, and not to justify them, also crosswatcher, you know, these energies can't switch. This person has profound regrets. They wish they could take it all back. The queen of <clears throat> pentacles. See, it's all about these pentacles. It's about like, they just weren't showing up for you in a concrete way. And if it was a long-term connection, they could, they could have been, you know, like, uh, telling you not to spend money or a miser or like not giving you time and attention, giving time and attention to other things. You felt alone in this connection. Uh, the Nine of Swords, you know, they, they were giving to their work life, to their colleagues, friends, everyone, but you, but Bill, uh, whatever that was, attention, money, time, affection, kisses, mm, give me a kissy. You know what I mean? Like they were just not giving on to you and it came from a profound sense of insecurity and they, 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 you know, they're like a little bit dead inside. I think this person has a good soul. They had a lot of bad experiences in life and then like 
everything can set them off. Like, you know, <clears throat> insecurity, jealousy, that you're gorgeous, scrumptious. It's like they loved you because you're scrumptious, but then they had resentment. It's, you know, it's like that little um, bit boo who like wants to date, you know, the cute little bit bill, but then they're like, uh, and then they like want, they want to treat you out, out of the goodness of their heart. They're like, oh, a Taurus, let me like take you out and treat you. But then they have resentment. They're like, why should I pay? You know, or why should I treat the Taurus? Like why, you know, it's kind of a weird energy. You know what, I, do you know what I'm talking about? It's kind of like they want to do it, but then they're like, and then they have like a little, little voice in that side of their head. They're like, well, why should I do that bit bill? So it's not a douche flute energy, but I think, I think it's a bird with a broken wing that could comes off as a douche flute because out of uh, the pain, the pain is making them sing this, uh, you know, very kind of, you know, unpleasant song. But this is someone who now wants to give on to you. So whatever they were withholding, whatever they were trying to play you with, whatever they didn't do, my baby Torres, they want to do it now. And it could have been a long time realization that had to happen here. Something ended very badly. I do feel like um, this could have been like, you know, an unexpected ending, a ghosting, or maybe you just had enough and you walked away. But I feel like whatever it was it's kind of interesting because I don't see this in the previous card like in the past I didn't see this ending but I see it now so they think you're over it now um, maybe in the past it's like slow moving energy so maybe in the past this person thought okay we split up or this didn't work out but somehow I'm gonna circle back and make it better and I think at this point this person thinks this this is not gonna be salvageable I think maybe they thought you would reach out to them they were hoping to receive a message from you maybe you've done that before if you've known them for a while or maybe that's a pattern that they do with bibu. So if it's a super new person, it's like they induce that kind of a reaction from the bibu. They like, you know, come in, give you all this love, treat you, bibu, you know, kiss on you, love on you, and then they withhold or withdraw. And then they think, well, that makes the bibus come to me. You didn't do that. And now they're like, oops, <laughs> oops, stories played me in my own stupid game. Uh, but they're coming at you with love. The page of cups uh, is someone who's coming at you with love and apology. A gift. Gifts and apologies, baby, and kisses. Uh, expect a message within about a month, a day, uh, or an hour, or a week. Within a month, person. I feel like someone is reaching out, like, very soon. This is all about messages. You know, these are little messages. Uh, I think this person was hoping you would reach out first. You haven't, so they're going to do it. So do not, whatever you do, Taurus, don't reach out to this big boo. They will reach out to you. And if they don't, look, it's a, it's a general reading, okay? These are, you know, take everything I say with a grain of salt. I'm just a random woman on the internet, baby, so... You know, there's an inflatable alien in the back. So, you know, these are just general energies. We are part of the Blue Angel Soul Tribe. So, like, just know that this person is definitely thinking about you and they're sorry. What they're going to do, you know, depends on their circumstances. But I do feel like... A it's all about reaching out to them. They're afraid, though, because you, they think you're totally finished with them. Uh, they think they destroyed this connection, but Bill. But the love is still there, and it's like all messages here, and all apologies, and all gifts. Uh, they wish they could make it up to you. It could be too late, Taurus. Maybe you don't want them anymore, baby. I don't know. It's all up to you, Bibi. I want the best for you. Always remember that, and always remember it's going to be okay. No, no matter how deeply you think this is your one soulmate, there's always, the goddess always has someone else out there for you, just around the corner. If we only had one soulmate in this lifetime, and that turned out to be a total douche flute, we'd all be like in the in douche flute land. It doesn't have to be like that my baby tourist i know i'm saying that i'm just giving you some <laughs> bit bit advice whatever uh the eclipse is coming uh in scorpio on the 25th and then in your sign on the 8th of november so there's going to be a lot of uh, radical changes in a lot of people's lives for both of us bit bit. so you may be seeing things in a very different light by the end of the uh eclipse season bit bit. uh this is what i have for you my darling scream she's beautiful Taurus. Uh, let me know in the comments below if this is your story also if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my videos <laughs> and my my little pep talks uh and uh, you want to spend more time with me why not subscribe turn on the notification button and of course i like the video because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on youtube YouTube. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, boo -boo, all the information is down below. I'll see you next time. Take care of yourself. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay my spr spr sparkly, scrumptious, delicious. I can't even speak. I love you so much. I cannot speak. Stay delicious, my baby. Stay sparkly and moisturized. I'll see you next time. May the angels protect you.